everybody, Bonnie here. Thanks for coming back to see what I'm up to. I have you guys rigged like my phone on, well I'll show you because I've got an extra one. I, I need to sit in a different spot because of the lovely Michigan weather, the lovely clouds that we get all the time. It's been so super cloudy and the light is not good at all from where I used to sit in my dining room. So I'm at my desk in my little corner and I've got you guys hanging up on one of these. <laughs> Either my phone is right in this and it's on like a nail in the wall. So hopefully it won't wiggle. I got these at the dollar store, at the Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? I just haven't really done anything with them. I had a few of them hanging up uh, right on the wall holding stitch markers. These are the ones that um, I got from Amber and from Ella. So these two make really good stitch marker holders. So anyways, so when I go to turn off the video, it's probably gonna wiggle a little bit because <laughs> you guys are hanging from a string. I don't know, I gotta figure something out. Um, you can kind of see my yarn behind me, but it's so dark and then that big brown curtain, those are bigger windows. And there's just enough light to kind of look weird, so that's why it's like a dark hole behind me. But anyways, enough about that. I finished the cowl that I had started in the last video. It is uh, a latte cake cowl. I just made up the pattern. This is what I got. It's um, half doubles with a 10 millimeter hook, so it's kind of big, bigger stitches and lacy. It's the Kirin Latte Cake Horizon Blue and it used about half of the cake for it. Um, I, have, I have this one left. Tiny, itty bitty ball left. Um, oh, there's one of the stitch markers that I'm making. It's really fun. I'm still practicing. I'm, I don't know, I'm messing up some of them. <laughs> but anyway, so the cowl matches the hat that I made. This is the Jade and Stitches pattern where you, it's a free tutorial. You um, do the ribbing and then you go on up and then attach it or attach it. Yeah, you attach it to your head. No, then you cinch it closed. And um, I did half doubles for, for mine with, I think I used a G hook. I, I used a smaller hook. And so I wanted to do half doubles for the cowl just so it kind of matched, but not really. And oh, I got to wear this for the first time today, this morning when I came home and it is so warm it's just the right length to to cover <laughs> it's so cozy and warm oh my goodness um the pink cowl that i had i was wearing in a couple of videos back maybe that was a little bit shorter and i still got and i've got a draft because i got my jean jacket out still i still haven't got my winter coat out yet i'm gonna have to do that but anyways so I just chained 70 and then I attached it to make it around and then I crocheted up um, half doubles just to keep the stripes going, kind of like the hat. So yay, yay for cowls. I could make a million of these, oh my goodness, they're so warm, so nice and cozy. So that's what I did, So for that's what I have been working on. For the last couple of days. I also sewed on all of the Jada and Stitches pumpkins and sunflowers to my blanket and I switched, I flip-flopped where she has hers. I put the pumpkins where she has her sunflowers and sunflowers where the pumpkins are. Um, I'll probably take a picture of this and probably post it on Instagram maybe later. I'm so bad with Instagram. I've written it down where I just, I need to get on there because I forget about it. Um, I don't know. I, I need to need to do something. But anyways, so here's the part of my blanket. Why don't we just go on up? We'll see how this works because you guys know it's hard to show blankets. There's my sun, my trees, and then this is where I put the flowers. I did use a smaller hook so the sunflowers were a little bit smaller than Jada's. There's my tractor and sorry if it's so wiggly, my pumpkins. I haven't done anything else with the rest of it yet. I only have 
three houses, and that's as many as I'm going to have. I'm not going to put any more houses on, but I do have an idea for a ship that I need to make. And I'm not sure what's going to go over here next to the White House. Something. Something's going to go next to the White House. But we'll see. I kind of want to wait and see what Jade is going to do for the rest of it. Because I don't want to ruin it and put something that's just not going to go. But my pumpkins, if you noticed, yeah, I do have a strawberry pumpkin. And I have a pink pumpkin. Pink is my favorite color. And also, I have a pink pumpkin because Ruth from Pink Pumpkin Crochet, she's the reason I have my channel, the reason I make videos. Um, because in one of hers, she just was like, if you want to make videos, just try it. Just try it. My kids is all, <laughs> like, the girls are like, you need to try it. Because they were, just them to be in the room when um, she said that. So, thank you, Ruth. Anyways, but the pumpkins were the favorite thing I've made for this blanket so far. And I don't think I showed you guys. When I did my blue tractor, I did not sew it shut. I can stick somebody in there. I don't, what do I have on my desk? I have, I have custard. I have custard. Ah! I can stick custard in there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I might crochet some kind of a, a little driver or something for the tractor. Anyways, that's my Jada blanket. And, oh yeah, the Golden Girl. I am so sorry, Rhonda, my sister. I said that I was going to make those Golden Girls amigurumi um, by Hoffman, is Alice Hoffman, I think is her last name. Um, I've got it in my, my Ella bag. I put them in this bag because my favorite bag. Um, let's see. This I bought this pattern on Allison, Allison Hoffman. Um, I bought this on Etsy. This pattern. You make the Golden Girls. And I got all excited the other day. I'm like, you know, I'm going to do this. <laughs> because I just had... I don't know, is she in here? All I had, all I had was Dorothy. <gasps> Poor bald Dorothy. No arms, no nothing. I think I put her eyes too far apart. So I was going to start all over again. And I was gathering up the yarn. It's mostly um, Karen Simply Soft. And some, I've got some brown in here. But I need the white for her sweater. And I must have used the white in some other project. Because I'm, I'm out of white yarn. I have um, white baby yarn. But it's not, I don't think it would work. So I got to get some yarn. Oh darn, I need to go to Michael's. <laughs> yeah, I really hope I get that done. And I have been working on the scrap blanket, that humongous thing. I've just done um, a few rows, not really enough to show you guys any of a difference in that. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna start putting the fringe on um, the edges. And I am gonna, I'm gonna use my scraps for that, I think. Because my, <laughs> my scrap thing on my desk it's getting full already. Like, <laughs> Goofy still sits in there, though. He still he can still be in there. So I'm gonna have plenty of scraps, and I do have that pickle jar. Is it down here? I'm like in my little hub. This is where all my stuff is. My corner of the living room. The staircase is right here. <laughs> it's like a railing. I don't know if you can see. I always shove my stuff in there. On there. Um, where did my I did not lose a big pickle jar. I thought it was under my desk. Well, it's somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> I've got plenty of scraps to go all around the blanket to make kind of a mega fringe. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, we have a little bit of snow on the ground, not a ton. The town, mm, like about 20, 25 minutes from us, they got slammed. They got like six to 12 inches of snow. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, nothing, no, nothing, no snow. It's it's 33 degrees today. It's not too bad. Um, the girls are outside playing, sledding, and I've got to get dinner going. <laughs> My favorite thing. <sighs> yeah, dinner. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I will see you in a few days. Have a good one. Bye.